What we're going to talk about now is how to teach a dog that when you grab him by the collar, this is not something that's a bad thing, it's a good thing. In any form of dog training, whether it be agility, whether it be Schutzen, whether it be Mondial Ring Sport, whether it be AKC obedience, it doesn't matter. At some point in time, either during, before the before the competition, you're going to have to take your dog by the collar. A lot of dogs that haven't gone through this kind of training go down in drive when you grab them by the collar. A lot of dogs, when you grab them by the collar, it makes them become more hectic. It takes focus out of the dog. What we're going to show you here as one of our Learberg relationship games is to teach the dog that when I grab him or the handler grabs him by the collar, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. We're going to teach him that when you grab the collar and remain calm, that's a good thing. So Cindy will go through this training right now with Dante. He's less than a year old. He's just a puppy and he's never had any of this training. So I'll step out here while she works. And again, this is the first time we've ever done this with Dante. He knows marker training. He knows the clicker. He's gone through the basics foundation of the clicker. And she's marking the moment that she touches the collar. As she goes through the training, she will gradually extend the period of time that she holds on to the collar. And as training goes on, we'll do this in different locations. But like all training, it needs to start in a distraction-free environment that the dog is comfortable and used to being in your backyard, your kitchen. In our case, this is our grooming table. Every day, Dante comes to the step here by our pool and he gets groomed for two or three minutes a day. He likes this spot, so he's not distracted here. So because this is a comfortable place for him, it's also an excellent place to start the initial stages of a lot of different training exercises. You will know your dog is starting to understand the game when he starts moving toward your hand and offering his collar. Dante just did this and this is only his first training session on collar work. If you do this two or three times a day for two minutes a time, you'll be surprised where your dog is in a week. Once you go through this work and do the groundwork on the exercise, dogs don't forget this. In the beginning it can take time. And you can grab different places on the collar and you can mark yourself being in different positions with the dog. In this case Cindy is marking standing in front of the dog. You can move around to the side of the dog. You can move behind the dog. You can have the dog between your legs when you grab the collar. The goal of this game, as we call it a game, is to teach the dog to relax in the position. When you see a dog pick his front leg up like that, that's a sign of submission. It's a sign that he accepts Cindy as a pack leader.
Cindy has taught Dante the place command is to stand between her legs. This is a position used in the Mondial ring. So here he already knows the place command and although he had a bit of a problem she's always done the place command out in the yard and on flat ground but here he did it on the steps for the first time. And now she's added grabbing the collar while the dog is in the place command. So she's added two different exercises to one here. And the second time he has less problems. He didn't see it. Yes. Good boy. Okay, thank you, Cindy. Good, we're done. Now we go to the kennel. The work you've been watching here is marker training. If you would like to learn more about how to train with markers, I would recommend that you get my DVD titled The Power of Training Dogs with Markers. You can watch an extensive streaming video on this training on my webpage for that DVD.